What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Tuesday, August 18th. Before we jump into the charts real quick, I wanted to ask and see if any of you trade hackers out there have built any custom indicators at tradingview.com for their charts. With the thinkorswim issues that have been going on the last couple of days and the instability in that platform, it's kind of forced us to look at a backup that is kind of a non-broker related charting solution for some of the indicators that we use. So specifically for our day trading, it's basically some pivot levels and some previous day open high low close that we can put on our charts just like we do on our toss and then also last time I checked trading view did not have the options data necessary to do this but I'd like to also have our implied volatility indicator built on trading view if that data is now available I have not checked yet but figured I'd uh, throw this out there to the trade hacker community first since you are my people and so if anybody has experience doing this, let me know. Just shoot me an email at info at navigationtrading.com and uh, we'll work out you know, a fair, fair kind of compensation, maybe some free access to our membership or you know, we can work out whatever, whatever's fair. So hit me up if that is you. And so moving on, we'll be looking at Tastyworks because Thinkorswim isn't currently opening correctly. Pretty frustrating. You know, all of our alerts and everything are typically done on Thinkorswim. All of our charting and everything we look at is kind of customized on Thinkorswim. And we were able to use the web based platform today, but it's just not the same. So uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. You know, we, we also trade on Tastyworks. So it's always good to have a backup plan. So if you want to open an account with another broker, Tastyworks would be another good choice. There are, there are another one of our preferred brokers. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been kind of trading on the web version of TOSS and also on Tastyworks. We, we've been using Tastyworks for our day trading anyway, but always good to have a backup. All right, so let's jump into the markets here. This is the S&P 500. This is the all-time high that it hit back here in February before the corona crash. And guess what? We are just right there. I mean, we are right there. I think it's pretty inevitable that this thing is going to blow through new all-time highs, whether that takes a pause and does it, or hey, you never know. It could just tank from here, but I don't think so. I think we're going to see some more upside in the short term. So what did we do today? The only trade that we made in our alerts portfolio was we actually got short bonds. So that's a way of kind of adding some long delta without actually getting long the stock. So if you look at TLT, is the vehicle we used. So you can see we had a pretty big push lower over the last week and a half, and now it's just kind of bouncing up. So what we did is we just put on some uh, short positions here, looking for a potential rollover. So that's, that's what we did in bonds. And so that's the only trade that we made in our portfolio. What else is going on? Well, we've got a kind of a mixed bag, some up, some down, but look at Amazon. Amazon up over 4%. Looks like it's going to get ready to head to new highs. Of course, our friend Tesla, I don't think it's allowed to go down anymore. Uh, it's up another 2.8%. Zoom, zooming higher, up an even 4%. Look like, looks like it's getting ready to bust into new highs. So tech continuing to perform well. And video is actually down a little bit today after it's had a pretty significant run here the last week or so. NVIDIA actually has earnings Wednesday after the market closes. So tomorrow after the market closes, NVIDIA has earnings. A couple stocks that do have earnings before the market opens tomorrow, uh, one would be Lowe's, L-O-W. And we didn't put on a, an overnight earnings trade on this one, but we will look at the post earnings price action and potentially get a trade on there if things set up correctly. The other one is Target, T-G-T. And so same thing, we don't have an earnings overnight earnings play on, but we'll be looking at a potential post earnings play if, if things set up. The other thing that we're looking at is a potential iron duck on Tesla. You know, we don't know how far this thing can run, but we want to have no risk to the upside and have a big buffer to the downside. So we'll be looking at a potential duck in Tesla tomorrow. And the only other major earnings for the week is on Friday, and that's Friday morning before the market opens, and that is John Deere. 
So ticker symbol DE. And you know, like everything else, it's been kind of on a on a ramp upwards. We actually do have a little bit of short delta, so we're taking some heat on this up move, but uh, we'll see what happens with earnings. We can get a little bit of downside action in that. We still we're still carrying a little bit of short delta, so uh, we're definitely not overly short. So those positions aren't doing great, but still able to turn profits with uh, with the rest of our portfolio. Day trading today, you know, is a little bit of a issue because a lot of that a lot of our charting is is based on uh, Thinkorswim. So we had to improvise, use the Trading View platform that we looked at. Just didn't have all of our tools necessary. Still was able to scratch out. $313 profit on our day trades this morning. We are streaming live every day this week and every day next week if you're a day trading member. So uh, make sure you jump in there. It's a lot of fun and we'll continue to place our trades even if toss is down. But hopefully if it's back up tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I've heard whispers that it's potentially due to the integration going on with Schwab as TD Ameritrade is merging with Schwab. I don't know if that's 100% true or not. Uh, that's just one thing I've heard. So who knows? Whatever it is, it's not cool. Think or swim, not cool. Now, I've I've been trading on Think or Swim for, gosh, I don't know, 15 years. And I've never seen an issue like they're having the last couple of days where it's just basically out almost all day. It's coming in and out, but mostly out. Pretty frustrating when, when that's your primary platform. And if you have them as your only platform, even, even more so frustrating. So uh, have a backup plan. Tastyworks is a good one. And, and so those are our, our two preferred brokers, Tastyworks and Toss. So hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.